Hello dear valued uh, viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to present a sample answer of world questions. I hope it will be really useful for, the, for you who are preparing for the TSC examination second paper of English subject. And uh, here I, I am trying to do is that the world question answers that is the some uh, questions asked uh, last year in 2018 uh, that is the question i will deal with them and i will provide the sample answer for you that is question number one is what is the importance of language function in language uh, in english language teaching design any two activities used in testing language functions in english and illustrate them with examples that is a uh, question number one and the questions uh, the question is divided into two parts one is the function of english language uh, you have to deal with the importance of english importance uh, of english uh, language functions in english language and secondly you have to discuss about the activities that are used in testing language functions and here let's go to the answer it is a simple answer i have made it and uh, this uh, you may or may not like this answer you are free to decide yourself now let's move to the answer Answer language functions are the purpose for which human speak or like or write. This sentence is about language function. And next sentence leads to the importance of language function. Language functions play a crucial role in English language teaching as it promotes authentic communication, enhances language proficiency, fosters intercultural competencies and develop pragmatic skills essential for effective language use in various contexts. Therefore, therefore, language function is a purpose of speaker and receiver for delivering and receiving the message. In English language, teaching our students are supposed to enhance their communicative ability of language use. This is about the importance of language function. And here is testing language. In second paragraph, you can see the testing language function. Testing language function mainly focuses on the performance of the language user. Performance, how the language user are capable to use the language. There are mainly two approaches for testing language functions. That is the functional approach and communicative approach. We don't talk more about the, these two approaches. The main goal is to assist the learner's ability to communicate in target language and perform certain, uh, perform certain function of language to their, to their daily life. Here are some activities for testing language functions. For uh, testing language functions, you have to mention some activities. Activities for testing language function. First is situation based dialogue. Prepare a series of written dialogues that that features the different language functions as such requesting information, expressing opinion, giving advice, etc. Divide the students into pair or small groups and sign the each group of dialogue to rehearse and perform in front of the class means in this text students are requested to uh, perform their tasks in the classroom after the role play role play i have a class discussion analyze the language functions used in each dialogue teachers assist the language ability of the learners in this process language function task card it's very interesting activity that is a create a set of task cards with specific language functions written on them. On the card, there is written the function for the students to perform. Such as describing a process, making suggestion, negotiation, etc. In peer or group, students speak a card and give a prompt related to the function. 
they had to engage in short conversation or written exchange using the assigned language function with within a time limit they have to perform this certain kind uh, certain tasks within time given time and next next that is activities are number three activities is the uh, the language function in use there is the number three we can see here is a bit edited language function situation game simulation game develop okay develop a simulation game where the students are placed in a scenario that requires them to use the various language functions there is some scenario is created for the simulation activity for example students could participate in a simulated job interview students discuss about the job interview group discussion making activity and or social event where they need to apply function like persuading socializing congratulating etc encourage the students to active actively use the target language functions during the simulation process students can practice language in this way and teachers evaluate them language function analysis tax and number four is language function analysis tax and provide the students with the text or audio clips containing examples of the language functions used and, pa and practice incorporating them into their own speaking writing speaking or writing tasks this activity helps the students develop a deeper understanding of how language functions are applied in the authentic communication this is also a, a language function analysis tax also very helpful for this language functions and here is the conclusion you have to uh, mention the conclusion after every answer in conclusion the mood of language function is to enable our students use target language appropriately in appropriate situation it is not only the correctness of language but also the accuracy teachers can apply the various activities to develop the linguistic ability of the learners this, this is the conclusion of this first answer and let's move to second question number second what is meant by scoring answers very simple question list out the possible techniques used for scoring subjective answer here is the focus is on the scoring subjective answers this carries four marks and develop a rubric that can support scoring various aspect of writing answer that is a, a rubrics develop uh, in for four marks you have to develop a rubrics for scoring subjective type of answer let's move to the answer here is the answer is going first the answer is related to what is scoring scoring are uh, answers typically refers to the process of evaluating and assigning a value score to response based on the set of criteria this process is used in various contexts including the educational assessments where the answers of exam are evaluated on the basis of certain criteria in simple way scoring is a way of making subjective and objective test subjective questions are open ended types where the students write answer freely in their own style therefore it is very hard to maintain reliability and validity in subjective answers to maintain the reliability in the scoring of the subjective test we have to develop rubric in educational setting scoring rubrics are often used to assess open ended answers rubrics provides a detailed framework that outline the criteria for different score levels and here is talking about the that is scoring and there uh, uh, that is the rubrics also here is some possible techniques used for scoring subjective 
answers for subjective answers there are some possible techniques to evaluate them which are presented below that is here is examining the answers by multiple examiners in this one way one that is techniques the uh, techniques of scoring subjective answers by multiple examiner is more uh, more effective and reliable but it looks time taking in time taking in this process two or three independent scorer evaluates the same answer and uh, average the score two or three scorer scores gives the marks and the their marks is averaged and declared and next way is grading the answer sheet it's very interesting uh, in this process in this technique the answer sheets are primarily observed by observed and graded into primarily observed first observation is done and graded into the different grade grade a grade b grade c and grade is grade a is the excellent answer and grade c is the very poor answer then the answers are examined first uh, uh, answers are examined grade a copy first then the other copies in the next time other answers in the next time this method is not more practical but help to reduce the reduce the influence and biases in the scoring answer this helps to reduce the influence of the examiner and another is most important which is mostly used in the context of nepal that is the primary trait scoring in this uh, in this technique of scoring the examiner primarily focus uh, focuses on the appearance of the text content delivery presented argument first the content how content is presented and the argument what is his idea strength strength point creativity and correctness of the content these pieces are considered in the mind in the process of scoring the scores are assigned on the assigned on the scores based on the uh, that is uh, appearance and quality of that trait developing a rubrics uh, rubrics uh, developing a rubrics for scoring various aspect of writing involves identifying the key components of uh, of effective writing and uh, defining uh, that is the performance level for each components Below is the example of writing rubrics that can be used to evaluate aspects such as the content, organization, style, and mechanics. In this aspect, the rubrics is made. It is really helpful for the examiner to make the criteria for the evaluation. Let's move to the example of rubric. And we have it is asked in the question that we have to we have to make the rubric here is the rubric for you that is here yeah, it is made in uh, in the table that is the first is criteria that is excellent good satisfactory and need improvement in this way and there are the criteria on the basis of content on the basis of mechanism uh, mechanics uh, there are the two and in below we discuss about others two content is content if the answer if the content of the learners is excellent the highest marks is provided and if the content is only good and the number is reduced and the content is satisfactory the basic number is given lowest number is given and the content is not enough only needed improvement only few marks is given so that content is one factor to consider in the rubrics and another is uh, mechanics mechanics is the error free how your content is error free or not if your content is error free there is no grammatical spelling punctuation capitalization mistakes you are excellent your answer is excellent and if there are only few errors that is your text is good and if there is uh, there are the uh, some errors in the text that is satisfactory and if frequent errors appears that is need to improve 
this is the true criteria for scoring the subjective test. And another is number three is cohesion and coherence. And high cohesive and generally cohesive, somewhat cohesive, lack cohesive. There are the four criteria for this. Ideas are well connected and flow logically. Cohesion and coherence refers to the uh, that is the order of the idea which are uh, presented in a sequential order or not. Ideas, uh, ideas are presented in sequential order that is cohesion and coherence. So that if this is excellent, the max is higher and the max is decreased in terms of this the cohesion and coherence. And last topic is about the organization. Your content, your answer is organized or not in the basis of this organization and logical or seamless. Exceptionally clear and logical structure, its paragraph, uh, okay, transitions and smoothness and supports the main arguments. Argument is organized in a compact way or not and it on the basis of this organization the examiners gives the scores the uh, test and it are the four criteria for this rubrics and next moves to the conclusion it is also the more essential part for the examination uh, for the answers in conclusion scoring answer of subjective test is more challenging issue subjective test is challenging issue uh, same answer can be scored with different marks by differently or by different examiners and therefore the examiner has to flow the certain techniques that is rubrics every examiner has to flow the certain techniques or rubrics developing a rubrics can support the examiner in scoring various aspects of writing these are the two questions and these are my answers, sample answers. You can, if you may or may not like this answer. If you like this answer and if you want to uh, see the other answers in the other videos, please uh, like it, share it and subscribe it. And if you do these activities, it really, really appreciates me, encourages me to may, uh, to move on to the next video, I will uh, work my work hard to make your next video. Okay, thank you for today's. Please thank you.